Hey guys, welcome back to Dante's Jurassic Reviews, and I'm here to review the Dennis Nedry Escape set. And this is in the Legacy Collection line from Mattel. Uh, and uh, you, if you saw my previous review, I reviewed the Tyrannosaurus Rex Escape set, where it came with the Ford Explorer, Tim Murphy, and Rexy. And now I'm, I'm going to be reviewing the Dennis Nedry one, which, if you don't know, uh, Mattel already made a Dennis Nedry last year in 2020 for a Comic Con, and it came in a Barbara can, but it was the one Hawaiian shirt. Well, this one is the more traditional Dennis Nedry, the one that you've seen from the movie with the yellow rain jacket and the glasses. And if you're wondering where to, where to get this, it was available at Target for 30 bucks. You can't get it anymore because um. It came out during the um, like either May or during the rest of the summer, and then it just disappeared. So you can't get this. You have to pay either online prices like eBay, which is a lot for it. And if you're lucky enough, you're able to get it in, in person. Which now, if you don't see, we have the Jeep. We have Dennis Century, a Dolophosaurus, and some accessories right there. And most people complain that, that the the Mattel Jeep right here is not as painted as the one that came out in 2018 which was right but you will see with mine I modified it a little bit so at, at first let's take a look at the Lophosaurus right here right here oops hopefully that thing doesn't roll off my desk right there let's put the accessories right here so here's the Dilophosaurus, which is a normal attack pack Dilophosaurus. Which I really, I didn't, haven't gotten this Dilophosaurus because I couldn't even find it during, during like Fallen Kingdom. So yeah, it's a nicely, nicely sculpted right there. For a figure that came out like three years ago. You can see on the frill and the back of the neck. The arms, nails are not painted, so I painted mine both in the are not painted the claws or the feet right there you can see some nice brown on the back right here you're gonna be hearing Freddy walking around right now right there so right there you can see the face nicely detailed right there oops what's that right there nicely detailed with paint right there the, the jaw is not articulated Nice paint job on the frill right there. If it had the black right here, it went accurate to the actual film. Which I was thinking of doing, but I'm not. And it does come with an accessory. What's pretty? Okay. Comes with its venomous right there. So you just, uh, it's, it's. Sorry, guys. It was Freddy right now. Um, see it's nicely uh, casted in a uh, translucent green right there and you just plug it into the hole right there of the Dolphosaurus's mouth right there and boom spitting out its uh, venomous uh, how do you say it? it's venomous I don't know I'm just calling it spit and you can make it spit at Dennis Nedry right there and now we can take a look at Dennis Nedry right here which nicely sculpted right there in the face where his, where his glasses at nicely painted hair looks just like the actor you can see his shirt underneath there a light blue right there nice blue I'm not blue neon yellow for his jacket right there uh, tannish uh, brown for his uh, pants right there. His belt buckle is painted with silver. Shoes right there are black. And for articulation, his head is on a ball joint, but it's limited because of the jacket. Arms right here. Focus. Do a full 360 right there. Don't go out. Go out that far. Elbow right there. Legs go out that far, back that far, 
and you do also have knee articulation right there so nicely posable right there I was gonna say right now that the reason I haven't showed the articulation for the Dolophosaurus is because it's really really tight on this figure I don't know why but it's really tight like right look at that just super tight right there again next to Dennis Ritchie nice scale I even though in the film it was supposed to be a little bit short I think like in the film universe it should have been like that right there and the best accessory of all of this whole set is the stick right there which you know I'm joking they just put it on oops they put it on the box saying stick included which I thought it was really funny right there and I see detail on the stick right there and Dennis Nedry oops can hold it in right there so yeah you can make it play fetch with the Dolophosaurus right there and now for the main uh, thing of the set is the Jeep Jeep 12 right there which when this set was revealed back in 2018 it was actually a concept art that Mattel had posted but they didn't make a figure of but during 2020, uh, I think it was like either July or um, February, I don't remember. But they showed off uh, images of it that they're actually going to release it. And all people were hyped about it until they saw actual like um, in-hand pictures of the Jeep, which it was not painted right there. And for example, the red stripe wasn't painted, which you, if you see, I painted mine. Right here, it has been non-black, just non, right here, it would just been all just like the same color right here, right there. And, um, what was it, uh, people were complaining that why they didn't show the, paint the rest of the stripe because, um, uh, in the original images, it showed it with the actual paint job right there. But to me, I didn't really mind it. I thought it looked kind of okay with, without it. But I painted it on just because. And also painted the, the footstep right there and the windows. Which is are new to the actual vehicle. Because the one in 2018, which I don't have. Didn't have the uh, windows right here. Not the windows. The mirrors. <clears throat> I also painted the... What's it called? The wipers right there. In the vent. And some stuff right there. Some lights. And um, the hinge doesn't work here like the old one. And one thing it has about it, it has the, the spare tire in the back. But also, it does not have the lettering on the wheels like the Ford Explorer. Which I wish it did have. That's one thing I didn't like about it. It didn't have the actual um, letterings. If, I, uh, if I'm going to paint it, I'm probably not. Because I'm not too good at painting letters with a paintbrush. But you can see right here some nicely done car details on this Jeep right here, which is sponsored, not sponsored, licensed by Jeep right there. Jeep 12, Jurassic Park. Right there. Jeep 12. The front of the is all stickers right there. Right there, some more. And one thing is new about this, fi this figure. This vehicle, it has the tarp on it, which if you got the one for 2018, did not have the tarp on there. Which you just press right here, just lift it up and it comes off right there. Nicely done details. Oops, got some hair on there. Will focus? It will not focus. But it has nicely done details on the tarp right there. It actually looks like a real tarp from a Jeep. And it actually looks like those windows on those Jeeps right there where it's all like wavy because it's actually not like an actual window. Right there's just screwed in. You can see the lights right there. So, there. And now to look at the inside of the actual car, which I did paint these on. These are just um, um, molded in the red right here, which I did paint because I didn't know if it was accurate to the actual vehicle until I googled some images and it is. So I did paint them with a gray. And if you're wondering what color the gray is that I use for uh, the, heck, the toothpicks stuck on there, 
for this gray is this color right here dark granite right there but again you can see some really nicely done details in there some nice metal details the uh, seat right there in the back the two front seats passenger and the driver the joystick right there the actual uh, what to call it again driving wheel which I don't know if this one actually rotates it does not rotate and you can see some nicely done details of the actual front of the car of Jeep I mean but it's not painted like the one in 2018 which is molded in the see-through plastic and you can add then a snedgery right here to the actual Jeep you just have to um, remove the stick do that Just wiggle, wiggle them in there. Just put them right there with their steam for his hands where the steering wheel is. Right there, and boom. He's driving the Jeep, and just put the tarp on there, and boom. Now he's driving the Jeep. I'm going to take the the Barbosa can. The Dawson right there, and it does nicely scale with the uh, Dolophosaurus, I'm going to say Velociraptor. And for size comparison, I'm not going to size compare uh, Dennis Nedry because you already um, saw me in the other comparison of my last review. But compared to right here, let's move it, to my repainted Dolophosaurus from Dino Rivals, which I'm not, I'm not done with that yet, but still, it's mostly done. And you can see it's way more bigger to the actual attack pack. Same with the frill. Okay. But mostly the same. The, uh, the legs are a different um, position. But still, mine's a little bit more movie accurate. It's not really movie accurate, but close to it. Well, this one's not really close to the movie accuracy. Right there. Here it is with, if you know, the Jurassic Park Telltale game, Herrerosaurus. Right there, this guy has some really wonky feet, which you can't fix, so it's gonna be kind of hard to balance on here. So, yeah, there it is with Herrerosaurus. Here it is with the JP1 Velociraptors. Right here. And here it is, because it was in the scene right there. The War of War Triceratops. Which you could tell the Triceratops should be much, much bigger. Which, probably like, like that big. The size of the Jeep. Right there. And for a nice size comparison, because you know this from a well-known scene from Jurassic Park, which I'm really hoping Mattel makes that Jeep, is... Uh, just move my chair. Is... The... Just to the on my shelf. The... Is it right? Epic Roaring Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is a nice scale, right there. If you want to recreate that scene, must go faster. But I'm really hoping that Mattel does make does make a uh, Robert Muldoon's Jeep right there, so you can make that really nice scene right there. And I forgot what I forgot about some I forgot about, oh sorry guys if I keep stuttering because I can't think of the word right now the reason I haven't showed the packaging of my figures right now because there are they are uh, on my walls I have put thumbtacks on there so I'm not gonna take them down because um they're on my wall right there and the final size comparison is the Ford Explorer 
Right there. Which is a really nicely done scale. I'm happy to have these two vehicles in my um, collection of Jurassic Park. Which my first vehicle was the um, the Jeep right here, and my second vehicle from Jurassic Park was this one. Because I don't have any of the other vehicles from the Fallen Kingdom, which I couldn't even find and store. Right there. Which, uh, what else I was about to say right now is that I got this guy in May during my birthday. Uh, I got a, a Target. Right there. So I'm going to end off the review right now because I'm going to be doing much more reviews, which I haven't done a review yesterday because I was tired yesterday plus I was Christmas shopping. So yeah, I'm going to be doing another review right now and there's a hint in this video what the review is going to be. So yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, ring the, the, the bell because I'm going to be doing more videos right now. And um, just please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.